So this is an eighth ounce jig head. We've got a half a worm. Look, nice long fish. Barb, is that beautiful it or what? It is, yes. Nice walleye, gorgeous colors, eh? Classic Northern Ontario Wilderness Walleye. And that's what we're doing this week, right here at Red Pine Wilderness Lodge on Lady Evelyn Lake. Canadian Sport Fishing, brought to you by Rapala, premium fishing gear crafted from experience. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. Dickies, guaranteed workwear since 1922. Lucky Strike, all you need is a Lucky Strike. There's just something about going to an Ontario wilderness lake in the middle of July when the weather's nice with your wife or your family or a whole bunch of friends and enjoying some classic walleye fishing. And that's what we're doing this week right here at Red Pine Wilderness Lodge on Lady Evelyn Lake. Isn't this gorgeous weather, Barb? It's beautiful weather. We've had a bit of a warm spell. It's been about uh, anywhere from about 25. Barb, can I just have the net? Sure. 25 Celsius to about uh, 30 Celsius. And we've actually got a nice calm day today. And our guide, Ryan, took us out to some favorite breaks that he fishes to go after some eating size walleye. So we're just starting out. We've got a bunch of smallmouth bass a little bit earlier. They were a little smaller. This is our first walleye, and I got a feeling it might be too big to be a keeper. He actually threw the hook, which is good. I'm gonna keep the net right below me in case he throws, he jumps out of my hand. Nice walleye, gorgeous colors, eh? Now, you know what they say about getting out early? It's 11 o'clock. We actually had breakfast around 8 o'clock this morning. And uh, we weren't in no rush to come out. I'm just going to measure this fish. And he is 18 inches. So that's not a bad start. So Ryan said the walleye fishing has been so good up here at Red Pine Wilderness Lodge that you can get them right in the middle of the day. So that's exactly what we're doing. So I'm just going to get this guy back into the net. Nice start. You know, when you get an 18-inch fish, even when I fish down in the Bay of Quinney, you get... Uh, 17, 18 inches, they're not bad fish. I'm gonna just make sure that he's upright because we didn't have him out of the water too long. This lucky strike net is so nice, look it. I can work it, the bag's not too deep. Come on, Mr. Walleye, right yourself. And I'm just waiting for him. I want him to have enough energy so that he actually swims out on his own. As Soon as he gets upright, you can tell that he's in good shape. Come on, come on, almost. One more time. Maybe it's the warmer water temperature. There he goes. Perfect, he took off. Now you know, Barb, that fish was actually hit in a slightly shallower water. You can see here on this hummingbird, 788. See how the water's getting slightly, gradually deeper? I'm just gonna go a little bit to our left and it'll get shallower. What you see here on this right side of the screen, this window, is the zoom in on the bottom. So we're actually getting a bigger picture here. So that's the zoom in version. So I'm gonna to go to the left and hopefully we're gonna mark some walleye. And while I do that, I'm just gonna hook up this worm. I'll show you how we're rigging these worms up. I'm actually gonna put the broken off end into the hook um, only a couple of times, because I want it to be nice and wiggly. Maybe one more, because I want it to be straight. So that's how we're rigging our worm right there. And you can see that he's trying to twist, okay? So this is an eighth ounce jig head. We've got a half a worm, and I've got the unbroken part at the end, because you can see we've got a little bit of action. You know, sometimes these fish pick up those jigs so lightly. I got a feeling they're not really feeding walleye. They're holding on their, st on their structure, but they're not moving too fast. You know, Barb? Yeah. I think that's why they're not really snapping at it. Yeah. And uh, if you, we fished fast moving baits, I don't think we'd hit them. So it's actually a very good thing to remember when you're fishing in the middle of the day, especially in deeper water. We're fishing about 
I'd say 20 to about almost 30 feet of water, just dragging these small jigs using light line. This one might be a keeper. I don't think he's hooked really well, so I'm gonna use the handy dandy net. Uh, maybe not. <clears throat> Walleyes are so, so healthy here. This one's a little bit whiter and almost silvery in color. So I got a feeling maybe he came from deeper water. Let me just lift him up and show you. See if I can hold him with thug getting spine here. See how silvery he is? He's not really yellow. And that hook is right through the roof of the mouth, which is what you want when you're walleye fishing. Not hooked too deep. And let's see if he qualifies as a dinner fish. And one of the things that I try to do each year is put a tape measure right up at the front of the boat so that it's very easy for me to measure the fish. And this guy's 17 inches, so he's just over. This guy wants to go, so come on. Let's see him fly away. Just out of the mesh, come on. Sometimes you want to swim into the net. There he goes, gone. We're about two hours northeast of North Bay, getting close to the Quebec border. And by the way, this lake is a man-made reservoir, Lady Evelyn Lake. I'm not sure of the size of it. It's a pretty long reservoir. And what they've done, they, they put a dam up on one of the tributaries that flows into the Montreal River which then again flows into the Ottawa River, which goes into the St. Lawrence River and eventually into the Atlantic Ocean. So it's amazing how big the system is. And because the water's regulated by a dam, it can fluctuate. For example, we were here last year and the water was about four feet higher than it is this year. So if you look at some of the shorelines, you can see how far up the tree line is just past our marker there. And the nice thing about the lodge this year, they've got a nice beach right out in front. So docks that we used last year actually dry. And uh, the, the water line is probably about 30 or 40 feet away from the docks. All they do is readjust and they put docks in um, where there's enough water for the boat. But it's an ideal situation because it's almost like a playground. You know, like some of our nice beaches in Southern Ontario. There's families that are swimming there. You know, girls are sunbathing. They're playing like volleyball along the beach and stuff like that. So once you get tired of catching all these walleye, that's what you can do, just have fun. Dickies, sport fishing sweepstakes. I was fishing at Lake of the Woods with my grandma and grandpa, and I felt something pulling on my rod, and I reeled it in, and it was a big, a big fish, and my, my papa netted it in, and I was so excited. My papa and my grandma, they were the ones who taught me fish, and first fish I caught, they were telling me what to do, and now I can do it all by myself. Um, it's lots of fun, and they take me there every summer, and I love it. We'd love to hear your fishing story. Go to our website and enter the Dickey Sport Fishing Sweepstakes. It's free, and you could win some great prizes.